Some researchers claim that crusts in the circles contain physical evidence of otherworldly intervention. Now, this is a node, and it's these knuckles you get on wheat barley plants. Now, what they've found in many formations is that that node seems to be lengthened, you know, literally elongated in the plants that have been laid down. Whilst acknowledging some formations are man-made, Dutch physicist Dr. Elst Joe Hasselhoff believes there's a link between elongated nodes and balls of light. The hypothesis was that the node lengthening was caused by electromagnetic uh, energy. And then when you think of the balls of light, you could say, okay, a ball of light, that's also electromagnetic energy. For Dr. Hasselhoff, balls of light emit electromagnetic radiation, which rapidly flattens the crop. The theory is that this radiation causes the nodes of the plants to elongate. But are these plant anomalies evidence of paranormal activity? Or is there a more logical explanation? Dr. Debbie Sparks is Associate Professor in Agronomy at the University of Nottingham. She specializes in crop growth and sees nothing out of the ordinary in elongated nodes. Doesn't matter how the crop was flattened, whether it was mechanical or natural, this is a perfectly normal response from the plant uh, to being sort of put in that position. So it's been flattened to the ground and then it's trying to grow back towards the light through a process called phototropism. Having been flattened, the plants attempt to grow back towards the sun. The node is the only part of the plant that is able to change its direction of growth. So put simply, one side of the node elongates to allow this change of direction. With phototropism explaining elongated nodes, the flame has been extinguished on the link between balls of light and crop circles. <laughs>